platform. Um, this video will explain about uh, chapter 2, signal analysis and mixing. Uh, so, for this chapter, we have three objectives that we need to um, fulfill or uh, achieve at the end of this chapter. First, to analyze the component of a signal, then to understand frequency, spectrum and bandwidth, and lastly, to learn about linear and non-linear mixing. As for you to know, this chapter is part of uh, how we can generate the information signal before it can be used in a modulator and modulate with the carrier signal. So for signal analysis, it's actually uh, the way how we try to analyze what inside a signal, either it's in analog or digital signal. So for signal, type of signal, I think I have already explained it in uh, chapter one. Uh, so if you not remember what is a uh, type of signals, you can uh, go back to chapter one and uh, do some revision from that. So signal analysis is the mathematical analysis of the frequency, bandwidth and voltage level of a signal. So we do, using mathematical equations, we somehow can analyze a signal based on their characteristics as well as properties such as frequency, bandwidth and voltage. For signal analysis, I think this one also I have touched in chapter one, uh, where we know what is the type of signal based on either continuous time or discrete time, analog or digital, periodic or aperiodic. So periodic and aperiodic uh, is actually how we can see either the signal is actually uh, symmetry or not symmetry, or our, otherwise we say, is it repeat, repeating at the same uh, rate of time or not? Okay, so for periodic, it will, the signal will repeat at a uniform rate at the same period of time. But for the aperiodic, it does not repeat the same signal, the same shape at the uniform interval or uniform uh, time period. Okay, I, so I also already uh, showed this uh, figures in previous chapters, so I will skip it. Right, for next is the signal also can be represented in uh, time domain or frequency domain. So for time domain is where we will see the shape of signal uh, with respect to time, meaning that on the x-axis, this is will be the time in seconds or millisecond or microsecond is up to you as long as the time the, sorry the x axis is still in time uh, unit okay so this is what we call as time domain and when we see on uh, equipment <laughs> always that we try to see the shape of signal on the oscilloscope so the oscilloscope will show us the shape of the signal either this way, this is the sine wave, or maybe pulse signal, rectangular signal, or triangle, uh, or, or uh, zigzag. Okay. Next is the frequency domain. This is the uh, shape of the signal where it is represented uh, uh, based on the frequency in the uh, sorry that signal has okay so uh, the the waveform just now can be uh, converted to be frequency domain and we somehow can find what is the frequency value of the signal and always that we're going to use spectrum analyzer uh, to see what is the frequency uh, for each peak over here. So when we have this peak, it actually represents this peak. Uh, when we want to draw or sketch, we just need to uh, draw a straight line, but for a spectral analyzer, it will show something like this. So 
the the frequency for this peak can be known when we see uh, what is the frequency for that peak and on the y-axis we show the amplitude uh, either voltage the zebra watts or whatsoever right another uh, shape of signal that somehow um, a little bit complicated is what we call as non-sinusoidal periodic waveform or known as complex wave so this complex wave basically is a uh, is a is a signal or a waveform that is harmonically related to a sine or cosine wave uh, and is a non-sinusoidal periodic wave okay so in order for us to know this kind of uh, waveform we need to do some analysis using what we call as Fourier series so uh, the Fourier series actually has been developed by Baron Jean Fourier uh, almost 200 years ago and it's actually have been um, uh, developed or have been studied by mathematicians uh, and somehow it come as Fourier series so uh, using this Fourier series we can try to analyze uh, the complex waves uh, and try to see what are the components or properties that uh, complex wave has. So uh, one of the uh, example is the harmonic. The harmonic is an integral uh, multiple of the fundamental frequency in a single signal. So uh, sorry. So uh, for the waveform, it actually can be classified into three categories. Either it's a even symmetry, odd symmetry or halfway symmetry based on justification from the mathematical equation that uh, Fourier series use. So, for example, the first uh, graph over here is the even symmetry where it's actually the the, the uh, graph or the plot is actually even and symmetry uh, to the vertical axis. So when if we cut the signal to be on x axis, sorry y axis, uh, it will give the same uh, or similar uh, symmetry. Okay, so this can be show or prove by using uh, this equation where the function on the positive side positive time ft is equal to function on the negative time next is the odd symmetry the odd symmetry is where the signal or the waveform is anti-symmetrical uh, on the vertical axis so vertical is over here vertical so uh, when we cut the signal is actually is not symmetry but when we reflect it on the uh, x-axis it will be similar okay but it's neat actually if you cut it through this line it will give us a symmetry uh, signal and this type of uh, odd symmetry can be proved by using this function where the function on the positive side of time is actually the negative function of the negative time negative time next is the half wave symmetry the half wave symmetry is actually a function of a signal that uh, half half cycle is a mirror image of the other half cycle so if the first even and odd symmetry is actually the symmetrical we take for the full cycle but for the half wave symmetry we try to see the symmetrical uh, on not even one cycle but only half of it so for this uh, C the C uh, example on the C here so this will be the one cycle for a cycle for a signal but it's actually symmetry when we take half of it okay 
and it can be uh, proved by having the function of the positive time over here is negative or function half of the time period for the on the uh, neg uh, uh, half of the time period okay uh, for this symmetrical analysis uh, signal analysis we only can do this symmetry <coughs> only for trigonometry for your series <coughs> and never use this uh, co sorry the the uh, symmetry consideration or symmetry signal analysis used for a complex Fourier series because the complex Fourier series uh, has much more complicated signal inside it and use more complicated mathematical equation. So that's it for uh, this video. I will continue again this chapter on my next video. Thank you.